The wave of anger is growing. These are protests against the travel ban in the United States. This is the most un-American thing I think that's probably happened during my lifetime. And that wave of anger is spreading around the world. This afternoon, an online British petition calling for President Trump's state visit to be downgraded neared one and a half million signatures. Time to uninvite Mr. Trump, Mrs. May. No comments from the Prime Minister, who delivered the invitation to the President last week. Labour is united in opposition. The President has signed an order preventing people from certain countries from visiting, identified them from a particular face. It is outrageous. It is illegal as well as being immoral. And I think we should stand up for the values we believe in as they don't discriminate. If there is a state visit while the ban is in place, the impression will be given that we condone or endorse this uh, ban. And we've got to be quite clear, this sort of ban is wrong, it is cruel and it is shameful and it sends all the wrong messages around the world. What about Mr Johnson? I, I'll, be, I'll be speaking later. The Foreign Secretary was called to Parliament to clarify the ban. Uh, we have an exemption for UK passport holders, yeah. whether dual nationals yeah. or otherwise. And I think, and I think most fair-minded people uh, would say that that actually showed the advantages of working closely uh, with the Trump administration. Hand in hand with the Prime Minister last week, today the President tweeted his clarification, saying he's not anti-Muslim, but anti-terrorism. He said, if the ban were announced with a one-week notice, the bad would rush into our country during that week. A lot of bad dudes out there. A state visit is when the red carpet is literally rolled out, here for the Obamas six years ago. And invitations are not withdrawn, even if big protests become a certainty. Simon Viger, 5 News.